everyone. I'm Katie Evans with the Living 48 Real Estate Team here at Keller Williams Realty East Valley and I'm super excited to bring you another monthly market update. So you can see I've got November and October and November numbers behind me. We're going to discuss those really, really quickly today, but we're super excited to have you back watching our little video here. All right, factoids are behind me. Let's go ahead. I'm going to scoot to the side here so that you can see what we're talking about. We're going to go through the numbers really, really quickly. We're going to dive into them a little bit, tell you what's going on in the marketplace, what we're seeing, what we think is going to be happening over the next few months, and let you get in touch with us for any other additional questions that you have. All right. So really quick, buzz through the, the factoids. Right now, we have about 1.4 months worth of supply here in the Arizona real estate market. Our inventory number went down uh, by one. Don't let that panic you, it went down. But that's been sort of the trend over the last several months as we just see that number creeping down and down and down and down and down. So right now we're looking at about 49 days worth of inventory. Our active days on market is 66 days on market. That's taking everything and figuring out how quickly it sells. Right now we're at about 66 days for everything to sell out. Close days on market, 42 days, all right? All those numbers continue to trend down. What does that mean? Oh boy, what that means is the market is moving very, very, very quickly. All right, these numbers keep going down, down, and down. That means that the buyers are buying fast as we can get it listed on the market and the sellers are moving just about as quickly as they list their houses on the market as well. So keep that in mind. The speed of our market right now is super, super fast. Okay, moving to the other side. This is the money side, all right? So, all right, our active price per square foot, right now all these numbers are going up. Arizona, from the zero dollars all the way into the million dollars listings, okay? But we're going for right around, this is the active, so this is what they're listing at, $270 a square foot. What are they selling at? Again, averaging 206 a square foot, okay? That's what we're selling for right now in the state of Arizona. Average sold, remember these are just over the last 30 days. Average sold is gonna be about $424,125. So if you're looking to move to Arizona and you're looking for sort of an average what, what houses are selling here, that's your price point that you can be considering. Yes, we have some below that, and yes, we have a whole lot above that, but that's about our average. Our median, so this is where we really see a lot of our market moving right now, is 332,000. 332000 sorry, $332,000, so um, those are just the numbers to keep in mind right now. All right, so the Arizona market is looking healthy. Let's talk about this for a bit. We have had a lot going on, so I want to just sort of explain to you what some of these numbers mean and how we get there. So the one that I want you guys to understand today is supply. How do we figure out supply? How, you know, what does that, what does that number mean? Um, basically, what we do is we take the number of available homes. So um, in, let's see, as of this morning, when we looked at these numbers, there were 13,631 homes available, showing active on the MLS throughout all of Arizona. All right. Um, and then we divide that number, so that 13,631, we're going to divide that by the number that closed. All right. And then we're going to, that's going to give us how many months worth of inventory that there is. Now, if we want to talk about like what's a balanced market where the sellers don't really have the advantage and the buyers don't really have the advantage, it's typically about three months worth of um, inventory. It's been a long time since we have seen that balanced market here in Arizona. All right, so we like to see a three to four month is like that sort of neutral zone. But again, it's been a really, really long time that we have done that. Now, um, I told you the number of active listings as of this morning in the MLS, and that number again was 13,631. What we typically see over the last several years, um, and we've seen this number decrease over many years here, but traditionally we see ourselves about 20,000 homes actively listed for sale in the month of November. So that I just want to put the number into perspective for you, okay? So, Historically, in November, the month of November, we're typically around 20,000 20, homes available for sale. This year, we're at 13,000 and some change, all right? This is actually the fourth straight month where our actives have been below 14,000. Yeah, 
So we continue to move down. <laughs> so we're down 27% year over year, over year um, to date. All right, so there's a big myth going along right now out in the marketplace that I just wanna address with everybody. And that is the myth that sellers do not want to sell in the market right now. Well, what we're seeing is that is not true. Actually, the, the truth of that statement is is that we just are so low in inventory that the minute something pops on the market, it's sold. All right, so you can see that traditionally we're about 20,000. Currently, we're about 13,000, almost, you know, 13 and a half thousand here. And so it is, it's selling, it's, it's, it's happening. There are houses that come on for sale, right? There, there are houses to purchase in the state of Arizona. They just literally are going, they're getting sold just about as fast as they go in the market. So buyers, we don't want you to think that there are no houses to sell. There are houses to sell. There's just a lot of competition for those houses right now. All right, so we absolutely can find it. So that is one of the things that I wanna talk about. Ooh, another thing that I wanna talk about really quick. We've had a lot of discussions happening out in the peripheral. Oh my gosh, we're in a bubble, we're in a bubble. Things are happening. Oh my gosh, when are the foreclosures coming? Um, so we always watch the distressed and the foreclosure numbers. And again, I wanna remind you guys, those numbers are less than 1% of our whole entire market. Okay, so when we talk about that, it's just not a number that is, is, it's not happening. Why is it not happening? We've had this conversation in lots of other videos. It's not happening because of supply and demand, just regular economics and the inexpensiveness of money. So right now, I want you to know our distressed in all of the state of Arizona is at 89 properties, okay? All of Arizona, 89 properties, that's it. We're not talking in the major Metro Phoenix areas where almost everybody has equity in their home. All right, so those are the really, really, really important things. One other number that I would like you guys to be aware of, we just got this from our broker today and I thought, oh, this is a staggering number. Right now in the state of Arizona, we have about 10,000 people moving into our state per month. 10,000 moving into the state of Arizona per month right now. We are getting a big influx of people moving into the state of Arizona. That is another reason why the inventory is so tight. Now, what are we gonna do to um, loosen up that inventory to create more? Well, there are only two ways that we can do that. And that involves either having the foreclosures come up, which we're not seeing happen, or to have the builders build enough properties that it makes up that deficit. So, um, this is a neat little statistic for you guys. So, let's see. Where's that number that I want? Uh, okay, so new builds continue to grow in the number of permit requests despite any COVID disruption. September had 1,807 new permit requests, most since 2007. Now, 1,807 does not match 10,000 a month. All right, so uh, they're, they're trying, they're really trying. But here's the other challenge that we have um, for our builders. Right now, their gap price, what that means is what it costs to build a house versus what they can turn around and sell it for is nearly 50% less than it was even a year ago, okay? So what we're seeing the builders do right now is rather than lock people in, they're starting to build more spec homes and sell them as quickly as they can build them. Why? Because that way they don't have to lock in a price at, um, let's say 300,000 when by the time they actually finish on that property, it costs them a whole bunch of money more. And should they have just listed it then, they could have sold it for 350. So what they're doing is they're starting to build a lot of specs so that they can charge the top market dollar at the end of the build um, rather than put it under contract at the beginning of the build. Now, not all builders are doing that, but a lot of them are. So that is something to consider if you guys are looking at new builds. Uh, we did a video that just went out not too long ago about some of the ideas about, you know, some of the tips and tricks around buying a new build. So if you want, go back, find that on YouTube or find it on our website and uh, watch those. But we're happy to be your advocate and your partner in those new builds as well. In fact, it's to your benefit to let us do that. All right, so that's kind of what's going on in the real estate market. Um, I'm gonna leave you with one final little thought because we obviously just came through the elections and a lot of people 
are always concerned about what does an election do to the real estate market. Now, historically, what we see is typically in like September, October, or I'm sorry, October, November, we see like a little bit of, of constriction on what goes on, either um, fewer listings coming on the market, which we really didn't really see this year, but we were already really low, so it didn't, you know, didn't really play out that way. Um, maybe buyers saying, well, we're just gonna wait and see what happens. Again, we didn't really see a lot of that this year, but statistically and historically what happens is we see a little bit of constriction happening in October and November. And then in December, any constriction that happened in November gets made up in December. So there's like a little increase, an abnormal increase in December that we don't normally see on any other year that's not an election year. So really, does it affect our real estate market? No, it doesn't. It doesn't affect it at all. It's a little slight stutter in the month of October, November, and we pick up and make up those numbers very, very quickly in the following couple months. So. If you've been considering selling your home or you've been considering buying or you're worried about four years from now because we're through it now, but um, if you're worried about four years from now, just know historically that's what happens with an election cycle in an election year with Arizona real estate. So you guys, I really appreciate you watching all the way to the end of this video. I hope you got some valuable information out of it. And if you have any additional questions about what's happening in the Arizona real estate market, remember these are all macro numbers that we're talking about. Your home, your neighborhood, those are micro numbers. And I'm happy to delve into them with you at any time. Please just reach out to me at 480-415-1341. And let's have a conversation. You can call or text me there. Um, or you're also welcome to visit our website at www.living48realestate.com. You'll find this video, you'll find lots of other videos on our website there and uh, hope that you will enjoy what you can gather there. Thanks again for watching you guys. We'll catch you in another month for our monthly market update. Stay safe, stay healthy, we'll see you soon.